Would you look at that? I dropped my Shattered Space predictions video, and two days later we get a deep dive from Bethesda. I love these little videos that they've been doing with every update and now the DLC, and thoroughly looking forward to it. So, without further ado, I'm going to go through this with you guys, and among the other dozens of videos out there that are going through the deep dive, here's another one for you, and things that I noticed. A couple things I already realized I was right on. They're doing a new star system. A lot of things they kind of gave away, and there's a lot to unpack here, so... Definitely want to look at that because I kind of have a pretty good direction of where I think this DLC is taking us and going to leave us at the end and how it will actually change Starfield. So, here we are. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today. It's been an incredible journey since Starfield launched last year. I want to thank all of you for making it the biggest launch in Bethesda Game Studios history. Your continued support and feedback drive us to making Starfield the best experience possible. Since launch, we've added new features, technical enhancements, fresh content, and the newly released Rev-8, Starfield's first ever land vehicle. Now we're expanding Starfield's galaxy with a brand new, completely handcrafted world and deep new storyline. This September, we're launching Starfield's first major expansion, Shattered Space. Today, we're giving you the first look at the mysterious homeworld of House Faru. So let's dive in and explore. Main thing I guess I wanna talk about with this city is this looks like what we're gonna get. This is gonna be the main place, like a landing pad to the right, a landing pad to the left, little spaceport area, main central square, you see that big statue? Then you'll kinda like go off to these other areas and then there's those big buildings there, I guess to the left in the distance. Then I think it's gonna have the exploded part. And I don't know if it's gonna be exploded and there's gonna be like scattered bits of the city, you know? Like around the whole landscape that will be like almost like teleported or if it will just have a huge crater area and then, you know, it'll be the beginning of quote unquote the Badlands, which I want to talk about here again. The fate of our house was written among the stars. Serpent tells us there is nothing to fear. Do not At least, not for those who walk the path. You will rise as Varun. So, you see the dagger there from the uh, scroat scroat or whatever the hell uh the groat i think their animal is uh andresia was my least favorite companion i know everyone loved her so i'm sorry if i'm offending anybody but i was not <laughs> the biggest fan of andresia i don't know kind of maybe just felt like she was supposed to be a, a thirst trap for you know the character or I, I i'm not sure i just never really found her interested in House Rune also just turns me off for a lot of reasons that I'll get into just because main real world religions. But uh seems like you're going to join them. And I just I hope that I don't have to join them. I don't think I'm going to at all. I feel like I'm gonna have to probably fake the rituals or go through the initiations, you know, to uh not get executed. Or maybe they'll have some cop out where someone will stop them from executing me if I say I don't want to, but I really don't want to be part of House of Rune. I know everyone else does, but I, I don't. I don't want to. And uh, for roleplay reasons and obviously just, you know, 
yeah, I just, I don't want to have to feel, I don't want to feel like I have to be due or just I'm now going to become House of Rune or like this adopted child from it. But I wonder how they're going to play that out in the, you know, game, I guess. So that's just one thing I want to, I'm wondering how forced that ritual will be or there'll be different ways of entering or starting up this quest besides you know, you're probably gonna go to the space station but then and activate this signal but then after that like are you gonna be able to like join with the pirates or another faction and try and get in there or and uh do some things or you're gonna have to immediately go do some quote-unquote trials action-packed trials thing kind of like the beginning of nuka world or i don't know I just hope it's not this whole thing that you have to do this ritual right away. I hope it's something you have, you have to earn. Earn their trust. It's kind of hard to get into House of Rune versus just, oh, now you can join them. Here you go. We love Starfield's massive open galaxy, but from early on in our planning, we knew we wanted to introduce a more secluded and handcrafted location similar to what you've seen from our past expansions. There's so much mystery to House Faroon, and because they've so thoroughly isolated themselves, it made them the perfect... Just want to check out these armor sets right here. You know, you have your classic House of Faroon here on the right, then some dude up there. I can't tell what his armor set is, you know. But uh, then you have this almost a cross between... Uh, House Varun and like a Crimson Fleet uniform, you know, and it has like that uh, snake emblem on his chest and you know, the white gauntlets, white uh, boots. So, very interesting. Bunch, like, what new armor sets we're gonna get, and uh, definitely think that Zealots are gonna be one of the houses that you can establish. Like I was saying, you could join them. And I think there's gonna be four houses right now. That's kind of what I predict. Four different factions that you can do. So maybe four different, four or di five different options, you know, because then you can maybe go against all the factions and maybe do your own thing. Bethesda usually throws that in there, but it might not be. It might just be four different factions that you can choose. Or in a completely self-contained experience. And so you arise, one of the promised of House Varun. From the minute you arrive on Varun Kai, the story never sends you off planet. You're free to leave at any time, but the story is fully centered around life on the Varun homeworld. Everything you discover. So I've never seen a ship like this. So just you can kind of tell just mainly this body is something that stands out to me. Definitely new ship parts which is cool. Probably all like House Varun themed. And maybe even some of these like Spacer and Ecliptic and Crimson Fleet ships too, since they're gonna be a part of it fine for space in these Badland areas, supposedly. For every location you visit, every side mission you seek out, it all tells the story of what happened here and how the Varun people have survived, cut off from the comforts of the settled systems and the rest of humanity. Vindicator, Harbinger, Reverend. Promised. One of our main themes throughout the base game is humanity's search for knowledge. Shattered Space is still about that search, but it's also about what happens when it goes too far. It's a very extreme pursuit, and it has backfired horribly for the people of House Faroon. My brother Kwasim has been missing for days. I'm beginning to worry that something terrible has happened to him. This is something that I was wondering what the hell these were, but this 
because I, I, you'll see them, I think, later in the trailer, but this is definitely one of the new Zealot enemies. Because uh, I think they really want to bring melee combat up a notch in here. I wouldn't be surprised if they even do updates to the melee. Like, maybe even new moves. Wouldn't go that far, but I could see it. Since they want to... You'll see they bring up... They want to make horror... Or space, horror is part of space, and up close and personal is part of that, or something. And so, look at this like a uh, sword that they have on their arm. That would be a really sweet melee weapon to add to a character. Not even if you wanted this whole outfit, but just that component. Because I already like to play with a uh, melee, so I'm all about incorporating some more melee into the game and getting more up close and personal because there's a lot of really cool mechanics that you can do with you know fighting uh hand hand combat i like his like gorilla uh robot plated face you can see his two little blue slits of eyes and he almost has this you know like a half halo band of like a giant cyberpunk uh jacket collar i, I don't know but it's it's some sort of weird technology. Who knows? I don't. Maybe it's some sort of like spacesuit thing, or I, I have no shit, no idea. But super interesting armor. I wonder. I think they're just gonna be an enemy type, more of like a berserker, like heavy armor enemy enemy type. So instead of just the people who you know, whenever you're taking out mobs, they run someone will like run at you with your melee like this guy will be heavily armored and he'll be kind of like oh shit i gotta like take him out while everyone else is also shooting at you so hopefully they kind of mess with those dynamics and like just add different variants to the i guess uh enemy ai to make it so you you know have to play differently just because of how s some of them are armored you know different i guess that's kind of what i assume with this Before the start of Shattered Space, a secret experiment involving grav drive technology went Alright, again, I don't mean to be stopping so much, but do you see all this, uh, like, metallic goop? Now, I saw that in the, you know, our first look into Shattered Space, in the first trailer that, you know, everyone was looking at, uh, and it looked like a snaky, coiled up thing, but clearly now this is just like a liquid or a globular substance that is forming on here almost like a, a mold i would almost want to say but uh like a yeah metallic -y, mercury uh, uh moldy thing I don't, I don't know it's very curious but definitely not not what i thought it was and i feel like this is going to be places that are infected with this are going to Maybe be those triggers that they talk about with uh, the creatures can set up ambushes to get you. Because this is now like a in-between worlds area kind of being affected or consumed into the nether dimension or whatever the vortex world, whoever, whatever that is. It resulted in a massive tear in the fabric of space-time that swallowed a significant portion of the Varun capital of Dazra. You arrived just a few weeks after the Vortex incident. It's still very fresh in everyone's minds. There's a massive crater in there. All right, so right there, yeah. Missing loved ones. Massive crater in the city. Now this is more, this is stuff I did not realize we would be getting. Like, there, see, there's, like, actually, like, emergency supply. Like, oh, okay, this is, like, a civilized place. All we have are, you know, the Varun Zealots. So it's nice to hear that they're not all going to have that weird accent. You know, I'm, I'm happy about that. And clearly, from this shot, like, this is, like, there's a statue leaning. Like, there was, I feel like they're going to make the city look way bigger. And then it was destroyed so like part of the badlands will be that city but that brings me to one thing i'm kind of concerned about or not concerned i guess because whatever but 
it seems like this city might look way bigger than any city we've ever seen in the game, but yet it's gonna be destroyed, so then it will account for it being smaller and the same size as, you know, our cities, like, you know, New Atlantis and Neon and Aquila city, but I, why? Would that be why? Why would the Varun, like they have, supposedly less amount of people, you know? They're like, they're not a huge population, or they shouldn't have enough. If they're gonna have a huge, huge city, so should New Atlantis and Aquila. And so it'd be really weird if they just have this huge, thriving home world. Because, and then all of a sudden there's this catastrophe and so now we're here and that's why like you know it's stabilized for the game engine that can run it that way because it says like the Badlands are other places where uh, I guess I'll get to that in a minute but where they had the they're going to be POIs all the like the 50 new POIs are going to be set up all around the world I'm presumably especially Dazra and then after this whole uh, bomb or explosion or experiment went off they all left and came back home and then now since they've been abandoned aka just like all of the old UC and uh, Freestar Colony outposts uh, spacers and pirates and uh, v Varun Zealots now occupy them so that's I think going to be their lore between behind like adding a bunch of stuff on the planet and having different enemy types besides just Varun Zealots. And then also making it so people are just in one city, just like every other planet, you know, one big city. They're not actually going to have other little cities, maybe like civilian outposts somewhere that are still trying to make it. I really hope they do that. Just ran and hopefully they're not like randomly generated civilian outposts that just talk about what life was like back on New Atlantis or not wanting to return to Gagarin. Like, I hope they are. Say things about still trying to stick it out about the blast or whatever is going on currently on Dazra. So, uh, we'll see about that one. But I don't, I don't want them to make it seem like Varun was this huge, mighty, mighty civilization. Mightier than, you know, the FC and the UC. And maybe they are, because they stopped the Serpent's Crusade a hundred years ago, and then just focused on themselves while, you know, the UC and the FC have been fighting with each other and having, and recently had a major war. I don't know. We'll see. Nothing has been reconstructed. People are still searching for missing loved ones. Supplies are limited. There is so much work to be done. The scaled citadel, the seat of power for the Varun government, is now trapped within a strange field of energy. Among those missing is a Nasco Varun, leader of the Varun people and speaker for the Great Serpent. In his absence, the minor houses that make up House Varun are all vying for control over the faction's future. The Zealots okay. were once a- So, a Nask or not, not, whatever the hell, the leader of Varun, a Nask Varun, he's missing. You're definitely going to have an option to free him and find him. And if you want him to return. Because if he returns, that's going to change up, you know, which factions end up joining him and which ones continue to fight him. Or you could just, like, let the chaos ensue and not have him return. He's gone. And he's that weird spirit thing. And it seems like all those other people are too because it's like all these other missing people so i think you're gonna have like a si a bunch of side quests that are like maybe the main quest which is searching for you know the main varun guy uh but it's gonna be looking for loved ones and you'll see earlier where you like go through these gravitational anomalies and you get to the top and there's people praying and then they disappear and so i think it's almost like an like and I'm mean, not even a Marvel guy, but I think it's like an endgame thing, or uh, I think, I, I can't believe it's the mission in here where it's like, it's like the split worlds, where half of the, like that one engineer guy is stuck in one part of the facility and it's all destroyed and everything and there's all the creatures and then the other timeline is these uh, 
all the people in the facility before everything or the, uh, got blown up, but then one guy died and then they all didn't. And there's two different timelines coexisting at once. I think that's going to be happening here. And I think, or there's going to be this nether world that these, all these other people are stuck in, like the upside down. And that's where they're going to be at. And then you're going to maybe see a part of them. Maybe they're like turned bad or they're controlled by something, kind of like the creatures are. They're all that like weird translucent stuff, but uh, I don't know if they're going to be controlled or not, or how you're going to be finding these people, and if you can bring them back to the other side. But I think there's going to be something to do with going to one other side of the dimension and coming back to another. Society. They want to continue the Serpent's Crusade. They'll demand an inordinate amount of credits or firearms. Worst case, a seat at the High Council or even the reinstatement of their house. All right. So right here, you will be able to reinstate the Serpent's Crusade. I definitely think that. Which is awesome to hear. For anyone who wants to do like that evil, bad role, you know, and... Uh, bring more chaos into the settled systems after the game. I think you'll have two options that happen after you complete this. There'll be a lot more peaceful Varun people and a lot more settled, like settlers from the settled systems coming to Dazra and vice versa. Or you'll have the Serpent's Crusade reinstating and you'll just have a lot more. They won't even be called Varun Zealots. Maybe they still will, but they, that will be like the big MO and there'll be a lot more attacks and maybe even some post side missions to do with that. Also though, folks, take a minute right here and look at just this landscape. So we, we saw them like you're at the bottom of this area and you they it, like shot up and here is this Varun Zealot outpost up here in these rocks. Back there, there is a little, I don't know if I can zoom in. Oh, there you go. A tower leaning. A little leaning tower of uh, Varun Pisa. So that's definitely a POI. Now there is the statue that we see earlier when they do that really cool sun fade or horizon deal. So that already gives me the sense of like, okay, this is like a regular Bethesda game where you have this big area like I'm assuming it's going to be about a tile or two looks like there's some stuff over here on that plateau that is going to be pretty uniquely handcrafted hence why it took a year because I think it's going to be a pretty large if not the largest DLC you know like larger than Souls time uh for sure and you're just going to be able to wander through and go to all these other places which I think people are going to love I'm hoping they're adding secretly on the back end a bunch of new POIs throughout the game that are not on Dazra. Maybe they will be, or maybe they're just like, we're doing that after. We're going to focus on the base game after. We want you guys to have this, get, show you guys that we still can make a Bethesda game, and then they'll be working on those after. Because I think this is what people want but they're going to not want to do it only in this setting and only in this environment. They're going to want to do it throughout the game, which I do too. So we'll see how they tackle that. But this does look pretty sweet, not going to lie. All right, look right here, guys. So there, I think they're, this person who was playing is up on that big uh, area that we were just looking at. Here is another look. Now, they kind of act like... Now, I, I kind of get anxiety because I just saw this when I was doing... Uh, when I first watched it, and then they act like he's not following him the whole time. Or he's just, you know... I know this guy is chasing him the whole time, but he, you know, clearly doesn't act or wants it to seem like it looks like that. But I see this big collar around his head. It's like something like a big back piece on his around him i don't know that's so weird and there's definitely that weird faceplate mask which is pretty cool which i i'm gonna assume that, that mask and that big weird back faceplate might be the same thing because then 
You can't, I think that's maybe to, so you can't shoot him from the back or even from the side of the face. You need to literally be facing him head on to get him, which is actually kind of cool, even if it's weird. So yeah, just wanted to pause that guy coming right at him. Kai and Dazer City are like no other location in the base game. From its inception, House Varun has been driven by a singular, unique vision. Because of this, Varun Kai has a completely distinct visual identity. We say it's very alien. You'll see this in the extraterrestrial landscape. Right there, guys. He said alien. And that is what I was saying in my a video about how you know to remember the moment before shattered space because starfield has been totally a human very human relatable world and i think that house varun are why people like them is they've been isolated for centuries at least almost two and they've you know made technologies and been experimenting with obviously some really weird stuff which is very alien to us and so now going here is going to feel like alien contact it's going to feel like the first contact with aliens but it'll still be humans but with a very alien touch a very weird foreign and exotic touch which i think is going to be really cool and probably needed with starfield even though i'm not super into the whole aesthetic of shattered space quite honestly i think it's going to pair well and contrast with what we already have but now with whatever decisions you make it will feel like aliens have come to the galaxy because i think there'll be a lot of varun people coming out and venturing and if you choose to like open the borders and pick probably one of the more uh progressive uh, houses, you'll see a lot more uh, trade with Varun and a lot more openness. But, uh, or you can make the Serpent's Crusade come back, which that could add a whole much, whole bunch more stuff. I don't know. Gravity anomalies and much more. These are missing people. I'm gonna tell you right now, this was, I think this is supposed to be like a memory that you, you go through these gravitational waves, which they're also gravity and time bending. Like time isn't the same in these bubbles, I think. I'm not really sure, which is gonna be weird. And so I think a lot of these, the use of these uh, gravity spheres is going to be for one just exploration and to mix it up a bit but also to really find out what the hell happened with all these people and so you know you're going to see they disappear and i think that's like you're going to be finding that in part of the quest of when you try and get these people back people who are missing and so which will be some main quests side quests and probably just some like miscellaneous like even like find all the missing people, you know? So one thing I want to look at here in the left, it looks like there's a, this is like a tower. I don't know, no, it's on a pedestal and it looks kind of cool, like a cool building, but maybe it's some sort of like relic. I don't, I don't know. Very interesting, but uh, yeah, these are the missing people I think you're going to be looking for, or this is going to be kind of what you're going to see a lot of in the game, ghosts. 
Varun Kai is located in the Kavnik system, and it's not the friendliest environment. They believed the Great Serpent led them to Varun Kai, and their whole purpose in being here is to await its return. You have no concept of what the Great Serpent demands of us. All must serve. It's a dangerous planet, and a lot of the people have retreated to Dazra in order to survive and protect their culture and their way of life. Now you'll find areas of the planet that were abandoned and have since been taken over by Zealots, Spacers, and Crimson Fleet. And humans aren't the only dangers in the Badlands of the planet. All right, right there is kind of what I'm talking about with they're going to treat this planet like any other, like like Aquila, Jemison, or Neon, where you can land on the rest of it, except for Neon, you can't land anywhere else but the place, the city. But you can land anywhere on the planet, and there'll be probably random POIs. Uh, and this is what I'm assuming, because I can't tell, because he talks about the Badlands here. But I think it's pretty much everywhere else on the world that you want to land to. I'll be disappointed if you can't land anywhere else in the world, and it's only this one area. That would be pretty disappointing to me. But when you go and land and you find these other abandoned POIs, it's going to be old structures and cities or settlements that, you know, Varun were at until this whole thing happened, and now they've been all called back to the motherland. Uh, that's kind of my prediction. If you look up here, zoom in, there is that shrine again. That is kind of like our focal point, I think. Like a big center destination in this game. Because, and I don't know where the city is in relevance to this. So maybe this is a whole nother area. That they, they had like the city area and all the surrounding parts. And then there's another place you land called the Badlands. That is this area. But that shrine for sure... When I stopped last, we were looking at the Varun Zealots, and that was from the whole other side, looking here to the left, looking uh, that way. So behind this structure, when we were looking that way, if you want to look back or go back in the video, these are now the Badlands, which is curious to get a sense of that. With the line between reality and the vortex breaking down, creatures from the other side can slip through like the vortex horror when you disturb the barrier between our world and theirs they can sense it creating these honestly terrifying ambush scenarios in the base game there's a lot of focus around range gun combat you can engage in a firefight from way in the distance in shattered space we're closing that distance space is scary Part of getting that across okay so for one yeah range combat closing the space gonna be a lot of melee a lot of quick moving animals and probably a lot of melee that's pretty strong and maybe even some of the animals that you see in the game like or i guess in the game the wildlife that aren't any of these vortex whores might be things that you kind of take on with your with hand-to-hand -hand combat which would explain a lot of the varoon uh, really toughness and strongness is the way to be kind of vibe. So, I don't know, that, that's, that's interesting to me. Wanted to stop here, because we saw more of these floating drops of this metallic stuff. And then we see a venom tree, you know, that we saw in the embassy if you've done the vanguard quest. But this stuff is taking over the venom tree. So it's not good. It's not good at all. And so I think maybe all of the houses definitely want this shit gone. Because I think the Venom Tree is very sacred to, you know, the Varun. So they want this all gone. They can unify on that. But what they want to do after this huge disruption has happened to their civilization is up for debate. Which is something you're going to decide upon. So I think that's kind of cool, but... Stuff's very interesting, very curious on what it is. If it's the same element that creates the artifacts or that the artifacts are created from. That's kind of what I think it is. That might be one of my big predictions is that I think this is the same um, material that the artifacts are made of. But I don't know. It's amping up the aggression and the chaos of combat.
you explore the city of Dazra and the surrounding planet, you'll learn the truth of what happened, become entangled in the political feud between the minor houses, and ultimately decide the fate of House Varun, a fate that could affect the rest of the settled systems. We can restore the intended order of things. Thank you for joining. I know it's, I know it's almost over, sorry, but right there, that could affect the rest of the settled systems. So I think you might even have a couple options because I think, or a few options, I think you can have, you know, a Serpent's Crusade, a peaceful opening of the borders between the settled systems and Varun, and a lot more people venturing into that space, which would be a lot of post content of just meeting new people coming out here and settling, maybe even list settlements or list members being like, we wanted to come settle out here, you know? But then also, I think you can choose to just keep everything the same and say, no, we want to preserve our culture and not spread and have people come migrate here. We still don't want to mix with other people, but we are not violent and we thank you for fixing and you're allowed to come here whenever we want, but only very few members are allowed here. We still want to stay isolated. I think you'll be able to choose that. That will be definitely one of the houses who wants to not be bad, but they do not want the rest of the system. They don't want anything to do with the UC or the FC. So that's one thing I think. Us for a closer look at Shattered Space. We worked hard to make this a journey you won't forget. We're incredibly grateful for your support and passion. Stay tuned for more updates as we head toward launch on September 30th. guys so there you have it love it love these deep dives i think it's so cool that we even get to see any of this i was not expecting anything like this maybe even just another teaser trailer or official trailer before it came out but not even so to have this information and this much of it is awesome my main predictions folks there's going to be four houses you are going to pick between them obviously try you can you reunite all of them you can choose to eliminate which ones you don't want kill them off maybe kind of like a new vegas style thing and you'll either choose to have open borders with the settled systems start another serpent's crusade quote unquote with the settled systems which will act a lot like a uh, raiding parties in uh, fallout 4 after you complete Nuka World and come back and take over settlements and make them raider settlements. Or you can choose to keep things the same and have no one able to come to this area still, this, this star system, but you're still allowed to and you can keep it so it's a closed cultural society still. The whole, or I guess another prediction is the whole world will be this one town, this one area Maybe even two, considering what they do with the Badlands. But I think there will be a lot of... There'll be the Badlands will be an area where everything is destroyed. That's right outside the city, obviously. Uh, and then the rest of the planet you can hopefully land on. And that's where there'll be random POIs. They'll be randomly generated. But everything will be abandoned. And, you know, spacers and zealots will come there. Uh, and pirates, you know. Uh, and maybe you might even have a quest or a side mission to help some pirates do some stuff if you're friends with them. Don't know about that, but that's definitely why I think the POIs are going to be the whole, oh, same abandoned, abandoned vibe, and now these other people took residence in there because, uh, you know, they had to come back versus no more colony war, uh, different buildings and outposts. Now the star systems, I think you're gonna go to multiple different planets and they'll just be random POIs as well. And they'll just be abandoned, like little research places and just stuff like that. But just more, and they'll, I think they'll be unique and have unique biomes compared to what we usually have. But nothing too intense. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like we're going to get here. Uh, a lot of new weapons, different 
combat variants. And I think it's only going to be in this area. I don't know if we're going to encounter some of those berserker type people uh, after the game, I guess. Or <laughs> I should say uh, after the DLC. Um, so who, who knows exactly. But I think it's going to definitely add some things will come to the settled systems after this. And maybe you can choose to not so that you can keep your shattered space and your... Uh, Starfield separate if you so choose to but that is uh I think gonna be all for me folks so thank you so much for listening to me rant through this and uh have my little predictions and uh thoughts and queries about this I'm looking forward to Shattered Space I think it's pretty sweet I'm not expecting anything crazy just expecting some more content so whatever awesome new things they add I'm gonna be happy with let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear your thoughts about this, how you feel about Shattered Space, what you feel about Varun, Kai. Oh, sorry to have such a big pause in between there, but how do you feel about the Varun? You know, do you like them? Do you hate them? Probably you love them because everyone does, but uh, either way, I appreciate you watching this. It does mean a lot to me, especially if you've made it this far. So if you have made it this far, put down in the comments shattered space or just hyped and uh i'd appreciate it shows me the ones who are dedicated and following and listening and for all you new followers who have subscribed i really do appreciate it it means the world so without further ado i'll see you guys in the next video